Today, we're diving headfirst into the greatest icon in comics, Superman. But we're not just talking about his powers. We're going to thoroughly analyze the anatomy and physics behind the Man of Steel. Buckle up, because some theories here will make you question everything you thought you knew about the Big Blue Boy Scout. And to kick things off with a bang, I need to know what you think. Who would win in a no-holds-barred throwdown between Superman and Saitama? Or, to really get everyone at each other's throats, what about Goku? That's the million-dollar question, right? Superman is the guy who lifts planets, withstands supernova explosions, and flies faster than light. Saitama solves everything with a single punch. And Goku? Well, Goku is Goku. Leave your opinion in the comments. Who do you think takes this? Because, believe me, the answer isn't as straightforward as it seems. But we'll get there. I promise. Anatomy and Biological Basis The Kryptonian Secret First let's understand what makes Superman, well, Superman. His body isn't remotely like ours. He's basically an organic solar power plant, designed to absorb and metabolize radiation from our yellow sun. This is the source of everything, what makes him the force of nature we know. His physiology is an alien biological architecture, with organs we can't even begin to understand the function of, but which are essential for storing this solar energy. That's why he can go without eating, breathing, or even sleeping for ages, as long as he's soaking up some rays. Think about it. A being that doesn't need oxygen to travel through space. His adaptability is simply phenomenal. Powers and scientific, hypothetical explanations, defying logic. Now, let's get to the good stuff, the powers. How does a guy manage to lift a planet or fly without wings? Let's try to provide some explanations, even if they're a bit crazy, because, after all, it's Superman. Super strength, the punch that defies gravity. Oh, super strength, that's the power that makes us drool. Superman is strong as hell, no denying it. He can lift mountains, stop moving trains, and even push planets. The most obvious explanation is that he has absurdly dense muscles, but the truth seems to go far beyond that. One theory is that he can manipulate the atomic and molecular structure of objects. In other words, he doesn't just lift things, he makes them lighter for himself. It's a level of matter control we can barely conceive. Just think, if he could alter the density of an object, he could make an entire building feel like a feather. Another intriguing possibility is local gravity manipulation. Imagine if Superman could decrease the gravity around what he wants to lift. It would be like cheating, but in a super-powered way. And it's not just brute force. Some comics suggest that his strength is more an act of conscious will in energy fields than actual physical strength. That's deep. It means he doesn't just have the capability, but the intention to do the impossible. That's why he can move a mountain without it collapsing under its own weight. He doesn't just lift it. He wills it to stay intact, demonstrating absolute control. Super Speed the Flying Flash When talking about super speed, the first that comes to mind is the Flash. But Superman isn't far behind. He's capable of moving at an absurd speed, and the most impressive thing is that this extends to his perception. For him, time slows down, Matrix style, you know? He can have an entire conversation in a few seconds, while for us, we barely had time to blink. He's kept pace with the Flash on foot, which is quite a feat, and has fought against Darkseid and saved a crowd at the same time. It's a level of multitasking that borders on the inconceivable. And how does he do it? The most plausible theory is that he manipulates his own mass and kinetic energy, decreasing the former to become lighter and increasing the latter to go faster, while also reducing air resistance and friction. It's almost a real-life cheat code. But, let's be honest, this super speed stuff in fiction is always a challenge for physics. It's such a spectacular concept that we accept it, even knowing it's somewhat impossible. But damn, it's Superman, right? He was made to defy logic. Flight. The man who defied gravity. This is Superman's most iconic ability, and also the most mysterious. How does a guy without wings, without visible propulsion, manage to fly? This is the one that intrigues me the most. The original material mentions there's no logical explanation, and I agree, but let's try. One of the most accepted theories is that he generates an energy aura around his body that interacts with Earth's magnetic fields. It's as if he becomes a sentient magnet, capable of moving through the air and interacting with the energy around him. And the most impressive thing is that he can use these powers to travel through space, taking advantage of solar magnetic waves. He doesn't need a spaceship, doesn't need oxygen, he simply goes. This demonstrates that his power is not limited to Earth's atmosphere. He's an intergalactic traveler by nature, a true explorer of the cosmos. Superhuman vision, the gaze that sees all. Superman doesn't just see, he perceives. His vision is an otherworldly system that processes the entire electromagnetic spectrum. It's like having a supercomputer in your eyes, with selective control and absurd focus. Let's break this down. Heat vision, this is classic. He shoots heat rays from his eyes that melt anything. The explanation, hypothetical, of course, is that he controls light particles, photons, 
and increases their energy to levels that cause intense heating. It's a biological laser, but with unimaginable power. X-ray vision. This is the most controversial. He sees through walls and clothes, but not lead. The comic's explanation is that he emits directed X-rays and interprets them. But, damn, continuous exposure to X-rays is super harmful, so either Superman is immune to this, or his physics is fundamentally different from ours. It's a power that defies logic, but is too iconic to ignore. Telescopic, microscopic, infrared vision, and electromagnetic spectrum. He sees everything, from an atom to a distant TV signal. He can identify radio signals, television, and even the aura generated by living beings. It's a level of sensory perception we can't even imagine. He can see in total darkness, see things miles away as if they were right in front of him, and even see what happens at the atomic level. It's like having Google Maps and an electron microscope in your eyes at the same time. Superman lives in a much richer and more detailed reality than ours. Super hearing. The ear that hears all. If his vision is absurd, his hearing isn't far behind. Superman can hear any sound, at any volume or pitch. He can block ambient sounds to focus on a specific source, like a whisper from the other side of the planet. Imagine the sensory chaos it would be to have such hearing in our noisy city. He must have to filter a colossal amount of information to not go crazy. For him, however, it's a powerful tool to detect dangers and help people, showing an incredible ability to process data. Invulnerability and healing factor. The unbreakable body. Superman is almost indestructible. He can take hits from all sides, nuclear explosions, and even supernovas. This is due to his ultra-dense molecular structure and his overcharged bioelectric aura, which acts as an invisible shield. And if he gets hurt, his healing factor is absurd, recovering quickly even from severe damage. That's why he's so hard to defeat. He not only takes a beating, but recovers in record time. Super Breath and Self-Sustenance The Hurricane Breath Superman can create hurricane force winds just by exhaling air from his lungs. And he can cool this air to freeze targets. It's like having an air conditioner and an industrial fan inside you. The most impressive thing is that he can reverse the process to pull in large volumes of air or vapor. Additionally, he doesn't need to eat, sleep, or breathe oxygen, as long as he has enough solar energy. He's a self-sufficient ecosystem, a true survivor who thrives in any environment. Mental capabilities and techniques. The brain behind the muscles. It's not just brute force. Superman is also a genius. With an absurd level intellect, his mind works at a speed we can't conceive. He can read information directly from machines and even reprogram them using heat vision. He's a super-powered hacker, but with ethics. This proves that he's not just a brute, he's damn intelligent. His reflexes are so fast that he perceives the world in femto and ato seconds. For those who don't know, that's the time it takes light to cross an atom. For him, everything is practically still. Imagine the advantage that gives in a fight. He predicts the enemy's movements before they even happen. And don't think he's just a guy who flies and shoots lasers. Superman is a first-class hand-to-hand fighter. He was molded by Jonathan Kent, trained by Jor-El, a master of Kryptonian arts, damn it, and Krill Hux, a war world gladiator, and even Batman himself. Yes, Batman praised Clark's fighting skills, saying he can handle himself even without powers. That's a hell of a quality certificate. He adapts his fighting style to his superpowers, which makes him super versatile against any enemy. And there's more. He masters Kryptonian techniques like Torquazum Vo and Torquazum Rao, which help him resist mental domination and even fight in astral planes. It's a power that goes beyond the physical, entering the field of mind and spirit, showing total control over himself. Extraordinary feats, the legacy of a god. And to close with a golden key, let's talk about feats, because this is where we see the real scale of Superman's power. He's not just a guy with powers, he's a force of nature, a being that shapes reality. Check this out. Pushed a planet 10 times larger than Earth. The scale of strength to accomplish something like this is simply cosmic. Lifted the entire Earth. Yes, he's done this. Literally. The Earth. With his bare hands. A feat that makes you question whether he's a hero or a god. Burst a star with brute force. He doesn't just move, he destroys. He has the ability to release so much energy that he can explode a star. The kind of power that makes anyone tremble. Created energy constructs with his bioelectric aura. He doesn't just absorb energy, he creates with it. He can expand his bioelectric aura to form giant constructs of himself. An army of one man. Fought against beings like Darkseid, Mongul, Kalabak, and Orion simultaneously. He doesn't run from a fight, he embraces chaos. He's faced some of the most powerful beings in the DC Universe at the same time and emerged victorious. It's the pinnacle of resilience under pressure. Maintained combat even blind and weakened. 
even in the worst possible situation, he doesn't give up. He's fought blind and weakened against powerful enemies and still managed to handle himself. An incredible testament to his willpower. And the question that won't go away, is he immortal? How strong is he? His immortality is more of an extreme longevity. As long as he has the yellow sun, he'll be at his peak. As for strength, he's as strong as the narrative needs him to be. He is Superman, the symbol of hope. And because of that, he will always find a way to overcome any challenge. Hell yeah, this guy is badass. The final showdown, Superman vs. Saitama vs. Goku. Who takes this? This is the question that won't go away. The discussion that has already yielded hours of debate at bar tables and internet forums. Who would win in a fight between Superman, Saitama, and Goku? Damn, this is every nerd's dream fight, right? And honestly, there's no easy answer because each of these guys plays by their own rules. Let's start with our blue boy, Superman. We've seen that he's a war tank powered by solar energy with powers that defy physics itself. He is the symbol of hope, the guy who always finds a way to win. His strength is absurd, his speed is insane, and his invulnerability is on another level. He's taken hits from cosmic beings, exploded stars, and pushed planets. Superman represents the pinnacle of physical and moral power. Now, Saitama. Ah, Saitama. The bald guy with a cape who solves everything with just one punch. His premise is brilliant. He's so strong that fighting loses its fun. His strength is a joke, in the best sense of the word. He is the antithesis of the traditional hero, the guy who is bored with his own power. The issue with Saitama is that his strength is an unlimited concept, almost a breaking of the fourth wall. He's a glitch in the system, a character that exists to subvert expectations. And last but not least, Goku, the Saiyan who lives to fight and get stronger. Goku is the warrior par excellence, the guy who surpasses himself in every battle, reaching seemingly impossible power levels. He has transformations that multiply his strength on astronomical scales and an unmatched will to fight. Goku represents the incessant quest for self-improvement. So, who would win? Deep down, the question has no definitive answer, as each operates in a universe with different rules. Victory depends on who the writer wants to win. But, if I had to bet, and this is my personal opinion, Superman has a versatility and control over his powers that put him in a unique position. He's not just strong, he's intelligent, strategic, and has almost absolute resilience. Saitama is a one-trick pony, even if that trick is invincible. And Goku, as much as he trains, is still a being that can be hurt and has limits, even if he always pushes them. Superman, with his invulnerability and ability to recharge, is a terribly difficult opponent to beat. And if you enjoyed this crazy deep dive into Superman's anatomy, powers, and almost impossible logic, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Damn it. Here the talk is straight, real nerd stuff, with that dose of cool science and mind-blowing theories. Now, I want to hear from you. Comment below who wins this clash of titans, Superman, Saitama, or Goku. And, dude, argue, convince me, because this beef isn't just about strength, it's about style, motivation, and the weight of the narrative. And stay tuned, because in the next video we're going to talk about another badass character, break down the powers, and show what nobody tells you. This is Hardcore Nerd Anatomy. Thanks for watching. And remember, with great power comes great debates in the comments. Until next time.